Hi everybody, Mauser here and today we're doing a quick Tech Time Tuesday about a feature that Apple have just released for the iPhone 14 and above here in Australia in the last few days. It's been available in the US and a few other countries since late last year but it's just been rolled out in Australia and today we're going to have a look at Apple's emergency SOS via satellite feature here on the channel. This feature is designed to get you help in an emergency even if you don't have Wi-Fi or cellular coverage with your phone. Like, no coverage at all, not even the little SOS only thing in the aerial icon bit of your phone. You can get help when you have no coverage at all. It's pretty cool. So, how does emergency SOS via satellite work? Well, basically, your phone sends a signal to a satellite up in the sky, which then relays it back to a base station on the Earth's surface, which then relays that to one of either Apple's centers, which then sends it on to emergency service response centers that are trained in this actual software and how it works, which we're about to go through. The signal includes things like your location and your altitude, as well as your health details, so that emergency services can help you and get to you as soon as possible. Now, let's dive in and have a look at emergency SOS via satellite. Now, obviously there is one key benefit for the emergency SOS via satellite. It's that you do not need to have mobile phone coverage, cellular coverage, or Wi-Fi to be able to communicate with both emergency services. And there is even a feature where you can let your loved ones and your contacts know where you are located on the Earth's surface using this feature. Now, I'm not saying that when you go on a hike, you just take your iPhone now and, and just rely on that. I will always still take this thing with me, my Garmin inReach, or if you've got a spot device or a sat phone, I would still pack that. But this feature is great for those times where you may not have that device with you, where you're out on a day trip. If you're driving somewhere with no coverage, I think this is a fantastic thing. And just imagine what it's gonna be like in a few years time. I keep this thing attached to my hiking pack. So if there was an incident where I dropped my pack just over there and I've gone to look at something and then I've fallen down somewhere, generally my phone's in my pocket because I'm using it to take photos and stuff. So it'll always generally be on me. And I think this is just an extra little bit of emergency safety that I've got the phone on me if I need to raise the alarm. Important to point out before we get right into this, this is only currently available on the iPhone 14. So that's the latest iPhone. So that includes the iPhone 14, the iPhone 14 Plus, the iPhone 14 Pro, the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And obviously you'd imagine this will be released in future versions of the iPhone, the iPhone 15, 16, etc. If you've got a phone older than late 2022, then it's probably not an iPhone 14 and it won't work. Now you're probably wondering how on earth does an iPhone, this thing, talk to a satellite? How does it send a message to a satellite? Well, I looked into it and Apple say this on their website. Every model in the iPhone 14 lineup can connect directly to satellite through a combination of custom designed hardware components and deeply integrated software. Apparently they've engineered the antenna so that it can send and receive data to satellites up in the sky. But because you're working with a phone with an antenna built into this little thing here, you've got to be pointing it directly at the satellite, but it does guide you how to do that. It limits the amount of data that can be sent. So you can't go and send a nice long text message to your wife or to your loved ones. It's preset data that it surveys you on when you activate the emergency feature. Now, where does it work? It was first rolled out in the States. It currently works in the US, Canada, France, the UK and Ireland. And like I said last week, it was rolled out in Australia. I'll leave a link below to take you to Apple's website, which sort of shows you there where it's currently available. They're rolling this out gradually to ensure that it works correctly in each country. They don't want to just mass roll it out and have issues. So it's been rolled out gradually around the world. And a good point to make is that if you are traveling and you've purchased your phone in a country that has this functionality activated already, then it will work in those other countries if you're traveling to them. So if I'm traveling to Australia from the US, it will work. If I'm traveling to the UK from Australia, it will work. The only situation where it won't work is if you have bought your iPhone 14 in China or Hong Kong or Macau, then this functionality will not work. Why? China. Also, this functionality will not work above 
62 degrees in latitude so that's in northern areas of places like Alaska, Canada and I assume places like above the Arctic Circle in Norway and places like that. A bit more from the Apple website. The emergency SOS via satellite builds on existing features vital to iPhone users including emergency SOS, medical ID, emergency contact and find my location sharing. Sharing. Offering the ability to connect to a satellite to share critical emergency information with emergency services, family and friends. So what it does is it connects to relay centres staffed with Apple trained emergency specialists. They're specialists in Apple emergency training and emergency communications. And these specialists are ready to contact the public safety answering points. So I assume that means that these Apple specialists then connect the emergency services in the appropriate region to enable a response. Apple say that since it was launched in 2022, it's now mid-2023, that it's saved lives in 12 different countries where it's been released. And it is free for the first two years from the date that you purchased the iPhone 14 model. So I assume because I got my iPhone 14 last year that it is free from last year, even though I haven't had access to it. But I'm assuming that at the end of next year, I'll have to pay some sort of subscription fee. At this stage, I haven't been able to find anything about what the exact cost of that will be. But for peace of mind, I think it's something I'd probably pay for. There's already that functionality of holding the power button and the volume button in to activate an emergency response when you are within range of a cell tower. Basically, that is where you hold in the power button with one of the volume buttons and you hold it in for long enough, then it will activate an emergency call response thingy. Now with emergency SOS via satellite, it's very easy. You can actually do a demo on your phone and that's a great little thing to go and do and just have a play around with. You can do a demo on your phone which takes you through step by step without calling the emergency services and shows you how it would work. We'll run through that right now. So you're gonna to go to your iPhone and go to settings. You're gonna scroll down to the emergency SOS little logo, tap on that and then you scroll down that screen down to the bottom and in there you will have your emergency contacts, things like that. You've got the option to call after a severe crash. That's their crash detection feature. Another feature which has featured quite heavily in the news and has been, been involved in helping save people who have had car accidents. And you go down and you see the emergency SOS via satellite function. And it's got the little button there saying try demo. We're going to tap on that. And it gives you a little blurb about what the satellite connection is. You click the next and it takes you through a few emergency questions. So then it brings you that screen where you can test the satellite connection. So we do that and you just turn the mobile service off while you do this. It asks you to do that and it will turn it off for you. And then it looks for a satellite. So it comes up on the screen showing you where to look for a satellite. And you can see on the screen quite easily, quite a nice little picture of where a satellite is in the sky. And as long as you just point your phone to that region and hold it there, and it can take a few minutes depending on where you are. Now I am downstairs under my house in my bunker. So I've got a bit of a window to look out but the signal may be blocked by trees and stuff outside, but now I have got a view and you can see there the sort of thing we get. So it is sending a emergency example and it's pretty good because I've got a lot of trees outside here and it's managing to send a message. When it's in view of the satellite, it's nice and green saying it's got a connection, but even if you don't have a full connection, it will still send the signal when the satellite comes back into view. So you just keep holding it and it will eventually send the message. It can take a few minutes. So you get this sort of thing where the screen will say the signal may be blocked, but we keep holding it there. So it does that demo message, it sends that off, then it says sent, and it gives you a response. This is a sample conversation with emergency services, type whatever you want, etc. So then you send a demo message. I'm gonna say, hi there, I have a sore leg, and it asks for your location. I'm just gonna put, I'm at the aquatic center, because that's where I was when I did this little screenshot. But I could say, I am fallen down a ravine. I could say, I have fallen off a cliff. I have hurt my leg. So then it sends that message again. It does take a little bit, but I think it's just crazy that you are communicating via satellite with your phone, with your mobile phone. Then it asks you a few more questions, takes you through the process, and there you have it. That's how it works. Yeah, so it takes you through the, this questionnaire to give emergency services, so then they can feed that back to the exact responder in your area and what it also does if you've got emergency contacts set up it mirrors the messages you have sent to emergency services to your emergency contacts in your phone so they will see your location the transcript of your communication with emergency services if the user that is in your emergency contacts 
doesn't have an iPhone, or they're not using iOS 16.4, that's the operating system for your iPhone 16.4 or later, all I will see is just the user's location and the type of emergency. And you can opt to stop sharing the information with any of those contacts at any time. Now again, as I have said, you are sending these messages with your iPhone with no bulky external antenna. So some messages, depending on the coverage you've got, can take a couple of minutes to send, but Apple says it can be as fast as 15 seconds when you've got a clear line of sight to the satellite. Apparently there's 24 or more satellites in this constellation of satellites that Apple are using to do this. There's probably more by now, but they've got them up there circulating the earth. Even if you don't want to contact emergency services, it does allow when you are out of range, when you're out of cellular range, you can use Find My to share your location with contacts. So you can actually go into the Find My app on your phone. You can go to me down the bottom on the right, and then you can go down to my location via satellite, and then you can share it. But obviously it'll only work when you are completely out of range. And this also works with those other features I talked about called crash detection and fall detection. So if you're out of range and you have a crash or a fall, it will activate automatically this emergency SOS via satellite and contact the emergency services. So how do you set this up? Well, the first thing you need to do, if you have an iPhone 14, it will work, but you just need to make sure all your medical and contact details are set up in your phone. Make sure all your emergency contacts and your personal health details are set up in the Apple Health app on your phone. If you can't find it on your phone, swipe down, type in health, you'll see that little icon Apple Health, go in there and set up your details. Do it now, just do it now. If you've got any iPhone, you should have it set up anyway. So then it will carry over to when you get a new phone. And then also just go through the demo and do that. It's worth doing that just to know how it works. And then when you are out of range, if you needed to use it, it will be familiar to you. So yeah, that's a very quick and dirty summary of this functionality for Tech Tuesday. I sort of put it out there because yeah, it's active in Australia now. If you've got an iPhone 14, have a look at it, check it out, have a play around with it. This is free currently for two years. I haven't found anything about what it will actually cost. They may just keep it running for free, I don't know. It's a pretty good PR thing to have. Or they may include it with the Apple One subscription. They may have a usage-based fee, so when you activate it, you get charged a small amount. Not sure, but that's something we'll find out in the future. It's pretty awesome. It's just another thing that helps us if we're in trouble. It's a pretty handy feature. But definitely I wouldn't rely on it just yet before those big hikes. I will always take my inReach. That will always come because I can send messages as I see fit. I can decide what the messages say. So that is still a pretty good feature. It's probably not long till we've all got Starlink iPhones and Starlink phones and things like that where we can just make a phone call. Now you're probably saying, Mauser, I don't have an iPhone. I have a Samsung Galaxy or some such phone. Well, apparently there is satellite connectivity coming to those phones. It looks like you may even be able to send more than a preset message, but have a Google, have a look at that. It's not available as yet, as far as I'm aware, but I'm sure it won't be far away. Until that comes, this is our only option. So anyway, quick update, probably not the most technical review out there. There's plenty more out there on YouTube, but I thought I'd just raise your awareness. It's available in Australia now, check it out and set up your emergency contacts and have a play around with the demo. Until then, we'll be coming back next time, talking about something else, talking about something hiking related, and I look forward to seeing you then. Make sure you like and subscribe below. We've got a lot of new subscribers on board. Welcome aboard. You can also sign up to the newsletter down below. Haven't released one yet, but it will come. Sign up and then you'll get notified when we start the newsletter. That would be great. We're doing weekly videos and it's great to have you here. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. So see you then and bye-bye.